Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today's video will go over how to change the various photo settings within the DJI Fly app by getting out of auto and into manual mode, using the camera to its fullest potential. The Mini 3 Pro comes with a camera that, out of the box, shoots 12 megapixel still photos, which is the same megapixel count as the iPhone 14 or iPhone 14 Plus. Now digging deeper into the settings, you'll see that the Mini 3 Pro can also shoot 48 megapixel stills, like the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. We'll discuss how to access this shooting mode shortly. Now for this video, we'll be making our settings changes in photo mode. To access photo mode while in the DJI Fly app, in the Live View screen, press the icon above the shutter button on the right. Here you'll see Photo, Video, Master Shots, Quick Shots, Hyperlapse, and Pano. Next, we'll choose the Photo option or the icon. When choosing the Photo mode, you'll see that there are various still photography modes that can be set on the left side of the Photo mode area, similar to some found on standard DSLR and mirrorless cameras. These modes are Single. This, of course, would shoot a single shot photo. 48 megapixels. Using the quad bear technology, a 48 megapixel picture is produced on the 12 megapixel sensor, creating sharper images. AEB, or auto exposure bracketing. This shoots three or five bracketed frames at varying exposure values. This is oftentimes used in HDR photo merging. Burst. This takes up to seven shots within a few seconds. And then we have time shot. Here, you set a timer between two and 60 seconds, and the Mini 3 Pro will take a photo when the timer expires. To change between these still photography modes, simply choose the one you'd like to use, then tap the screen. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about Pro mode or manual mode. To get the most out of your photos, you'll want to take control back from the Mini 3 Pro when in auto mode and go into Pro mode. Now to switch to Pro mode, on the bottom right of the Live View screen, you'll see an area where the camera settings are located. Now in auto mode, you'll only see the following camera settings available. Format, J, J and R, and EV or the exposure value. Tap the camera icon that says Auto, and it will then automatically switch to Pro Mode. Now after entering Pro Mode, you'll see that there are now quite a few options available for you to adjust. Now here's something to note. After switching into Pro Mode, the screen may go dark as the settings will not be adjusted for the current lighting conditions. Now on the bottom of the Pro Mode screen, you'll see the following. You'll see J and R, 16.9 or 4.3, WB, S, F, ISO, and MM. Now except for MM or manual metering and F, the fixed aperture of 1.7, all the options are adjustable and aid in getting the correct exposure and the best picture possible. To change these values, simply press the area at the bottom of the screen that corresponds to them. So for the first one, J and R, this denotes JPEG in RAW. This is your picture file format. If you tap J and R, you will be able to switch to either JPEG only or keep the format as both J and R or JPEG and RAW, with the Mini 3 Pro shooting and saving both formats simultaneously to the SD card. The next option is 16.9 or 4.3. This is the aspect ratio of the picture you'll be taking. Depending on your option, 16.9 or 4.3, that format will show written here. You can change the ratio by tapping on this number. Although the 4.3 ratio image doesn't take up the entire live view screen, if you're looking to get the most out of your Mini 3 Pro's image sensor, choose the 4.3 option. 
You can crop the image to the dimensions you'd like to use in photo editing software. W. This is white balance. White balance evens out the color temperature in a photo to make the image's color look more natural and truer. This is done by making the image cooler or warmer from 3000K or Kelvin to 8000K. In the DJI Fly app, the white balance is not represented by sunny, cloudy, incandescent, and custom as it was in the Go 4 app or on many cameras. White balance is now adjusted using a white balance slider. The slider is in numerical Kelvin values. Now here's a tip. You can forego manually changing the Kelvin values and just choose auto. In auto, the Mini 3 Pro will try to decide what white balance values are best for the current shooting conditions. If you'd like to tweak those a little bit more, then simply go back into Pro mode and slightly change the slider. The next is S, or shutter. This controls how long or how short the shutter is open. Lower numbers let in more light, while higher numbers minimize the light allowed into the camera. When taking pictures, you can use the shutter speed to control the brightness of the light in the image. The shutter is also used to regulate motion blur in videos, something we will discuss in our video how-to a little later this week. Now, ISO. This is the value of measure for a camera's sensitivity to light. As you increase the ISO number, the lowest of course being 100, the brighter your image will be. Now, be aware that the higher the ISO is raised, the more noise or grain is introduced into the image. The Mini 3 Pro's ISO range is between 100 and 6400 for both photos and videos. When possible, keep the ISO at 100 and, as mentioned prior, use the camera's shutter speed to adjust image brightness. Now, MM, or manual metering. This is similar to the exposure value, or EV, in auto mode. However, unlike the EV in auto mode, you cannot change the manual metering value in pro mode. Manual metering is a value-based guide that tells you when your exposure is correct based on the ISO and the shutter. Well, that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.